Hey ladies, it's Cherie with Lulu's Boutique Supply. I'm coming here just to do a quick video on finished bottle caps today. The end product will look something like this. And here's some examples of what they're used for as centerpieces, embellishments for bows. Forgive me, I don't know, I can't remember who made these bows, these two at least. This last one is made by um, Rachel at Mini Pinty's Boutique, and if you'd like to check out her shop or just want to shop some bows, I will leave her link in the description area for you guys. So what you're going to need is um, a bottle cap image sheet, and I get all of my image sheets from jazzycaps.net. Uh, I print mine at Walgreens, but you can have them printed at CBS, um, Shutterfly, Walmart, anything like that. She can give you a copyright release form, so you can have those printed legally. You're going to need a one inch hole punch. This one's by Fiskars. And I also have this one by the Paper Studio. I prefer this one. Um, you're also going to need some epoxy. These just happen to be glittered epoxy. And a Xyron sticker machine with the permanent um, sticker refills. And I will leave links to a link to this also in the description bar. So I'm just going to use this image sheet for today because I've already cut into it. You want to line up your image in the viewer as best as possible, getting no white, just the image in the center, and cut that out. Take your epoxy dot and line it up on the center as evenly as you can without touching any, you don't want to touch the um, center parts of the epoxy. I always hold it on the outside so you don't get fingerprints on it and then place it on top like that and push down all over to get any of the air bubbles out. And then you're going to take your Xyron machine, stick it down in there, and then you pull this end and tear that off. So then this is what you have. You're going to push all over so that your backing gets sticky. And again, it is the permanent sticker so that it's not going to... You can peel it up within like the first couple seconds if you need to reposition it. Um, but then after that, it's, it's pretty permanent. You don't want to mess with it. So then just take bottle cap. Here is your epoxied image. And place that in the center. And there you have it. A finished bottle cap. Some people also use these for keychains um, or for planner clips, stuff like that. Um, I also wanted to show you how I store my image sheets in um, photo, what are these called, photo pages, so that I can just go through them easily and find the image sheet that I need. But I'll leave the link to Jazzy Caps in the description also. Um, that's jazzycaps.net, and if you have any questions for me, just let me know.